Okay, so in this particular problem, we want to find the moment of this force about the base. Or what you need is the, the question here is to determine the moment created by the force F about the base A. So <coughs> that's what we have as the question, except the one it done by two different methods. So we're looking at the moment M A that's the moment of this force about this point. So to do this by two different methods, you need two different position vectors. And one I could choose, I mean, you already have the point A, you could choose this one, but we know the height. The height here is 15 meters. So um, I could choose a position vector going from here up to here. So we have R, A, B, and we multiply this by the force vector. So we got the position vector, which is R, A, B, and then you do a cross product with the force vector. Now we need one more equation. <coughs> the one that's done by two different methods. The next point we know is this, where we know its coordinates. So I can move the force all the way from there to here. And then choose a position vector which goes like this. So the same thing will be R A C, vector going from A to C, and then you do the cross product with force F. So those are two equations that will allow you to find the moment of the force F about the point A. And the rest is fairly straightforward. We need the force vector, we need the position vector AB, we need the position vector AC, and then we need to find the cross product. So <coughs> let's look at the coordinates. We have coordinates for A. They're all zeros. Then we have coordinates for B. You're going to have two zeros for the X and Y. Then you have 15 for the Z. Then we also need the coordinates for C. The C should be, should be 1.5 for the X part. Should be negative 1 for the Y and a zero. Which means that the uh, position vector RAB. That's this minus this, and that's 0i, zero 0j, zero and then you have 15 of k. Then we look at the position vector RAC. So we're looking at this minus this. So you're going to have 1.5i then we have negative 1, which is j, and there is 0 here. Then we need the force vector f. So in this particular case, it's going to be the force magnitude. And you're looking at a unit vector going from b to c. So that could be written as f a vector BC over the length of BC. 